guys welcome back to the channel anyway i took these pictures about an hour ago of my dog running through a puddle and i just wanted to show you how to edit them bring back some detail and add an overlay a splash overlay to it anyway let's get started i'm in lightroom and i'm going to crop the image in Crop that in there. I'm going to bring the highlights down a little. Add a little bit of clarity and a small bit of dehaze. Dehaze will darken the shadows a tiny bit for me. But that's exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to right click it and edit it in Photoshop. It'll bring itself over to Photoshop. And you can see it's done that there. I'm going to right click it and duplicate my layer. Now we're going to bring back a lot more detail in Kai here. So what I simply do is I go to filter, other, high pass. And I have mine set at 4.4. .4, which works really well for this. So I press OK. And I change my blend mode to overlay from normal to overlay. Now we can zoom in on this and I can turn it on and off. So you can see there that it's brought back a lot more detail. So I'm going to right click it and merge everything together. Right click it again and create another layer. So now we're working with this one right here. Now I'm going to bring in my overlay, go to file, place embed it. I have an overlay here, water splash overlay. Simply click on it and place it. It's right there. Press OK and change the blend mode to screen. Change the blend mode of the overlay to screen. Now we're going to resize it. So I'm just going to hold shift while I drag this box down. And I'm going to place it at his feet. I'm going to zoom in a little. Right there. Zoom out. Now I'm going to press Control J, and that's going to create a second overlay. So that has just created two overlays right there. So I'm going to grab the two of them together, right click, merge layers. It'll go back to this. We'll change it back to screen. And now we have that splash effect over Kai. So I'm just gonna drag it up and resize it around him. And press OK. Now I'm gonna create a mask on the rain particle overlay. And I'm gonna take a black brush, a hundred opacity. I'm just gonna take away this little bit here. So when you have the mask created and you have a black brush, it'll take away. Oh, change to black. You can see it'll take that away. If I wanted to bring it back, I just change to white and it brings it back. For now, we want to take that little bit away. And there we go just makes it look like there's a bigger splash coming from the coming from Kai when he's running out of the water. So now I'm just gonna right I'm gonna shift and click both of these layers and merge the two of them together. 
Again, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to change the blend mode to the first one to multiply. And while that's still selected, I'm going to press Control I or Command and I invert it. What I want to do here is choose a white brush, bring my opacity down to about 25%. And I just want to paint a bit of uh, the grass here to bring to darken it down just a small bit. So at 20% would be a low, uh, enough for that. So you can see with the white brush. Now, if I wanted to, the way the grass is cut here, I could follow the line, you know, the lines on the more that cut it. But this is all I want to do here. If I wanted to add more detail to Kai, I could simply click the brush and start, use it as like dodge and burn. I can just simply paint in the dark spots of Kai, his chest. If I turn this on and off, you'll see, you'll see it there in his chest. It's just a great way of adding a, a, a little dodge and burn to, to your images. He's a really silly dog, really great, but he's quite silly. Just a little bit of definition there around where it's black in his coat. Just bring it down a small bit. Tiny bit around his eyes. And I'm just painting that on there. If I go up and turn this layer on and off, you can see that we painted in a shadow, painted in the dark spots of his face. Now, likewise, if I wanted to highlight areas of this, of this, I would just create a second adjust uh, curve adjustment layer, change the blend mode to screen, and when I change it to screen, you can see. It all blows out the highlights while it's still selected. Press Control I. If you want, you can name these. Name the top one highlights. And name the bottom ones shadows. And with a white brush, no matter what you paint on this, on the highlights one, it'll bring out more of the highlights. And no matter what you paint on the shadow one with a white brush, it'll increase the shadow. Um, it's just a quicker way of dodge and burn. Um, but it also allows you, if you make a mistake, to change the brush back to black and paint it back out again. Um, just looking at that final crop there, I could, what would it look like if we brought this down a bit more? Changing it into a panel. There we go. Now I can brighten up a little section of his face. I've got the highlights and the shadow of the lyrics created. Choose a white brush. Um, zoom in. Where his ears are there, we can just little touches of highlight. His harness. Just painting in his chest there a little. If I turn that layer on and off, you can see. Just having a final look over it. 
and grab all of them together. Merge layers. Finished. I'll be happy enough with that. You can see that we've got the water effect right there. It looks pretty cool. And we've added our shadows and highlights in no time at all. Edit, pictures done. Already. That was pretty quick, pretty easy to do. Show you how to do it. And what we did was we brought back some uh, detail by going to filter, other, high pass. So what you, what you want to do is duplicate your layer first. Have a second layer. Don't touch the original background layer ever. Go to filter, other, high pass. It'll change it to this. 4.4, uh, between 4 and 5 is normally good for portraits and um, other images such as this to bring back detail. Press OK and you change the blend mode to overlay. So you go to normal, change it to overlay. And if we turn it on and off, you can see that it has applied that effect there. Now, if it's too much on your layer, simply just bring down the opacity of this and you can bring down the fill a little bit as well when we had that done we right clicked and we merged the layers together we created another background copy and what we did then was we created a curves adjust, or we brought in the overlay. Um, then we created a curves adjustment layer, clicking on curves. We changed the blend mode first to multiply. While it's still selected, we press Control and I to invert it, or Command and I to invert it. We named this one Shadows. And we created a second curves adjustment layer and we changed this blend mode to screen. We press Control and I or Command and I to turn the box down here back to black. And we named this one Highlights. And while we have the, back, the black boxes selected and we have a white brush, make sure our opacity is down low. No matter what we paint on this highlight box here with a white brush, we'll bring back some highlights. No matter what we paint on our shadows here, if we increase the size of the brush there. So we have shadow selected, we've got a white brush, and no matter what we paint here, we can bring back, or we can darken down our shadows just a little. If we make a mistake or if it's a bit too much, just simply change back to black brush and we take it away again. Increase the size, uh, opacity and we take it away. That's it guys, pretty easy, pretty quick. It's just a trick that get you used to Photoshop, get you doing it and I hope you enjoy it. I'll check you out the next time. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.